Good morning. This is episode 131 of ISPP TV News, and I'm Mia. Thanks for the EAC for the important message in last week's episode. We have seen a lot more people wear reusable masks, which is great. Take, let's take a look of, at what happened last week at ISPP. The reason why we wanted to interview Ms. Liz and Ms. Marianne is because we wanted to know who made the decision of the school. We were wondering a lot about them, so why didn't we get an interview them? That would be fun to do it. a really hard one. I think I'd rather live where it's warm. Can I go in between? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go in between. I want a bit of cold, I want a bit of hot, but I want it just to be warm, just like New Zealand. Cool. Cool. Because it's like snow and we can, we can build like a snow fort. Yeah. The guest this week was Miss Bettina, a learning support teacher. Let's listen and find out more about our guest. Welcome, Miss Petit. We're going to ask you a couple of questions. So, mm. where are you from and where did you move from? I am from Brazil and I came from China. I was working in China before I came here. Um, what's your favorite sport or exercise activity? I love walking. I love to go for long walks and see beautiful things. That's what Why did you become a teacher? Um, I think it's something that I always wanted to be since I was a kid. It's something that was always part of our games and our play. And I just love to meet new people and learn new things and teach new things that I know. What are your hobbies? I love cooking and I love to walk my dog and play with my dog. Thank you, Miss Bettina, for being our guest. Thank you. Thank you so much for the question. The riddle last week sure was a handful. Let's listen to it again to find out the answer. This week's riddle is what advice do you get from your fingers? The answer is fingertips. A big air high five to Miss Sandy's class for the first correct guest. Let's hear the new, the new riddle now and send us your guesses after the episode. What do giraffes have that no other animal has that keeps them from going extinct? TV is looking for some help. If you have any good ideas of what you would like in the future episodes, please tell your teacher and ISPP TV crew member or talk to Mr. Seth or Mr. Ryan. Remember, we are doing this for you, so please let us know what you would like to see. I wonder what would happen if you say what you want to say and let the words fall out. Honestly,
student council will be organizing a dress up day. So when you grow up day, you can come to school dressed up as what you'd like to be when you grow up. For example, an artist, a sportsman, a singer, a doctor, an author, a policeman, a soldier, teacher, nurse, vet, work for the government, and principal. You could come dressed as lots of lots of different people. Remember, Friday, 16th of October, when I grow up day, I wonder what you will be. Thank you for watching ISPP TV News. Be safe, be responsible, and stay classy, ISPP. Bye!